the Pekin, or White Pekin, is an American breed of domestic duck, raised primarily for meat. It derives from birds brought to the United States from China in the 19th century, and is now bred in many parts of the world. It is often known as the American Pekin to distinguish it from the German Pekin, a distinct and separate breed which derives from the same Chinese stock but has different breeding. Many of these ducks were reared on Long Island, New York in the late 19th and early 20th centuries from which the breed derived its name Long Island Duck. The American Pekin is large and solidly built. The body is rectangular, the tail projects above the line of the back. The breast is smooth and broad and does not show a pronounced keel. The head is large and rounded and the neck is thick. The plumage is creamy white, the legs and feet are yellowish orange. The beak is yellow, fairly short and almost straight. The American Pekin is raised almost exclusively for meat. In the United States, more than half of all ducks raised for slaughter of this breed. Numbers in the United States alone are in the tens of millions. The birds are large frame, hardy, and fast growing. They may reach a body weight of more than 8 pounds in 7 weeks. They have a high feed conversion ratio, are calm tempered, and fertile, and their eggs have a high rate of hatchability. The white feathers make the carcass easy to clean after being plucked. Pekin ducks may lay over 150 eggs per year. They are not good sitters and eggs may need to be artificially incubated. Pekin ducks are multi-purpose breed, meaning they have traditionally been raised for egg and meat production. The docile and sometimes affectionate nature of Pekin ducks has earned them intense popularity to keep simply as a farm pet along with chickens. Pekin hatchlings have bright yellow plumage with an orange bill, shanks, and feet. Hatchlings should not be given free access to swimming water unless they have been hatched naturally by other ducks. The feathers of a young duckling are not sufficiently developed to properly protect for extended periods in the water and they do not produce enough preen oil to waterproof this plumage. In the wild, a mother duck will monitor the time her ducklings spend in the water as well as supplying additional preen oil to supplement what is produced by hatchlings. Pekin ducks for the most part are too heavy to get airborne. However, individual ducks may be lighter and capable of short flight, so clipping their flight feathers or their wings will ensure that they will not be able to fly. They are gregarious and will usually group together. As with most waterfowl, the pecan duck has feet that are perfect for paddling through water, but less suited to walking around on the ground. They are happiest when they have free access to water in which to swim and mate. When catching a pecan duck, it is important not to grab it by its legs, but rather to grasp it by the neck, which is less likely to break.